Hey, hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn how to build your own portfolio website in Notion. I know it's hard to learn coding or use any other CMS, for example, WordPress. But in Notion, you can build your own portfolio website just in a couple of minutes. But first, let's see what we are going to build. It's all started with your photos and in the left side, here is your name. And maybe a little bit of your description. And also the button of contact me is live. And then here is your award section. In the right side, it's all about your work history. And in the left side, here is your skills. And the little progress bar shows the expertise of your work. For example, your website design skill is 10 out of 10. And then your services. We used our own custom icon and the fancy box. And then here is our portfolio section. Under the project view, it showcases all of our uploaded work. Could be under any category. And also, you can showcase your work under any specific category. And then here is your testimonials. Here is the logo of the company you work with. And here is your client's review. It's sister with one star and end with 5 star and then I think there's nothing much to talk about the contact form and everything you see about this template will build on our own but before that don't forget to hit the subscribe button Alright, so the very first thing that we are going to do is take a new page name it as portfolio and in the top right corner there is a three dot icon turn the fully done so then we are going to take two column here there is a column in the left side and there is another column in the right side and in the right column we are going to upload our emails and the size of this image looks a little bit bigger. So let's make it small. I think now it looks perfect. Or maybe we can make it a little bit more smaller. Perfect. So in the left column, we are going to write down our name. Hello, Roto here. And we are going to change the font size. Turn it into heading 1. Perfect. And then we are going to write down our description here. I think you can change the image size a little bit bigger. Now, now perfect. So then click on slash, we are going to take a divider here. And then we are going to build our about section. Click on slash and then we are going to take three column here. In the middle column, we are going to write down about. Let's change the font size. Click on six dot and turn it into heading two. Perfect. But we can see it's still not in the middle. Now I think it's better or maybe now. I think now it's better. But I think we need to change the about size from heading two to heading one. Now it looks more perfect. So then we are going to write down our description here. And now it's time to build the about section. But before that, take a divider here. So then we are going to take two columns here. In the right column, we are going to write down our experience here. So click on slash. And then here is a bullet list. 2014 to 2018. And then select all the text to make it bold. Command B or Control B. And then double click on enter button and write down your description here. We are going to follow the same process. Let's just copy it and paste it here. And say again, same thing, paste it here. Let's change the date 2014 to 2018 to 2022. 2022. And same thing, 2022 to 2024. 2024. All right, it's now it's the time. Click on slash and then database. Here's the gallery view. Of course, new empty database. Let's name this database as skills. And we're going to hide this database title as we don't need this anymore. Then click on the three dot button. Here is layout. This content non card size is small. That's it. So let's write down our skills name here. So for example, graphic design. We don't need these two properties. So let's delete this. And we are going to create a property on our own. So click on add a property, number property. And we are going to choose bar is divided by 10 change the color to default color that's it so i'm going to write down 10 10 out of 10 which means our graphic design expert is 10 out of 10 but we're going to rename it as expertise expertise perfect and of course don't forget to add an icon so i'm going to choose a design icon design this one perfect but still one thing missing we cannot see the progress bar here so for that click on three dot properties and we are going to unhide the expertise properties. Now it's perfect. But we want to hide the number. So click on expertise, edit property and turn off the show number. So I'm going to write down the other skill name. That's it. Now we need to do one more thing. Change the name gallery view to skills. And we have to change the icon also. So I'm going to choose this one. So here is the about section. Now I'm going to copy the about things. All right, just copy it and paste it here instead of about we are going to write down service here then we are going to write down our description and click on slash divider but one thing we forget to do we want to highlight this text service i'm offering so select all the text and here we can see a code thing click on it and we can see the text state so we are going to change it again select the text and all we have to do is change the color to red to the default so i think the text is still is not in the middle so i'm going to put it in the middle also same thing here and we are going to do the same thing for learn more about 
turn the coding thing on mark as code and select the default color all right now it's time to create our service section so click on slash fallout and then we need to change the setting click on save dot color of course it has to be gray background now perfect then again click on slash three column so now we have three column here first column second column and third column all right then again click on slash call out and to change the color so click on six dot color chooses default color perfect and let's drag it to the column one same thing just copy it and put it in the column two and as well as column three and then click on slash image upload image of course i'm going to choose the vector one and we need to make it small so now we cannot do anything here so for that i'm going to take this space to this column now we can work on it so first thing is graphic design select all the text make it bold con b or control b and then write down our description here and again take the space write bullet list or anything you want and then select all the text click on mark as code we need to change the color to the default text color perfect and now all you need to do is get some bullet points so click on slash bullet sorry bullet bullet list same thing let's just keep going on so i'm going to delete this all right instead of get this in the middle section we are just going to copy it command c and just let's paste it here now it's perfect again do the same thing paste it here and if you're wondering where is the second box here just delete all the thing and copy the column and paste it here that's it that's our service space but we need to change the icon so click on the icon and we're going to replace it with new icon so it has to be web programming and another one replace it perfect we need to change the size so i'm going to make it small and same thing for that let's make it small all right and here we're going to write down web programming web programming programming let's select all the text make it bold and same things here ux designer select all the text to make it bold all right so here is our service page so then it's time to create our portfolio page i'm just going to select this copy it command c or control c and then paste it here i'm just going to rename it as portfolio port sorry portfolio and then write down the description here and divide here. so after that click on slash database gallery view of course new empty database name it as portfolio hide this database title as we don't need this anymore the first one is all project then click on new page we don't need the created property so let's delete this and the text property we are going to rename it as category categories all right so let's write down some categories here graphic design ui design ux design so write down the page name demo project one and select the category for example it's a graphic design category and once you want to showcase your work just upload the cover photo cover i'm going to change the cover photo and once you want to upload the project just go to the upload and upload your positive message here but for now i'm going to select the picture from gallery so this one but here you can see it's showing nothing so click on three dot go to the layout we have to choose page content to base cover so the image is coming from base cover and card size medium is good i think again go back and properties i'm just going to hide the name and i'm going to follow the same process to upload few more images all right that's all of our demo project and if you want to create the categories for the project let's just duplicate this and rename it as for example graphic sorry graphic design and choose the filter we are going to choose categories and here in the category we are going to just only select the graphic design so under this category you'll find only your design portfolio and then we are going to follow the same process let's just duplicate this and rename it as ui design click on filter and we are going to change it instead of graphic design we are going to choose the ui design that's it and if you want to change the icon click on here rename it and here is the icon so i think this one perfect so here is our portfolio section i'm just going to copy this and paste it here and let's rename it as testimonials testimonials and write down our description here then click on slash divider and here we are going to upload our client's company logo so click on slash image upload i think this one is sponsor perfect let's make it a little bit smaller now it looks better now it's time to create the client's table so for that click on slash to column a and here is the right column is b so again under the a column we are going to take two more columns so click on slash right two here is two column so in the first column we are going to upload our client's photo so click on slash and image so first one is this all right so here is our client's photo i'm going to make it small perfect and then here is our review so click on slash quote all right and let's write down the quote here and we can do one more thing 
I think now it looks perfect. All right. And we can make it a little bit bigger and then copy and paste the star emoji. Same thing we are going to do for the visualization. So click on slash and then here we are going to take two column. In the first column, we are going to upload our image. So image and upload it. And in the right side, click on slash and then quote here and then write down the review. We need to change the image size. So for that, now it's good. And we are going to drag it here. Perfect. Same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste it here. All right. So instead of three star, I'm going to add two more star here. So it's five star. And instead of create this, I'm just going to copy and paste it here. All you need to change the image. So click on three dot and here is the replacement of the image. Same thing here. Click on three dot replace and upload your image. And finally, we need to get the contact page. So I'm just going to paste the testimonial section and rename it as contact. So for the contact form, we need to get another page, add new. And of course, empty page, write the page name as contact form, then click on slash and we are going to write form here. Say hello and you can write down your description if you want. I'm going to leave it for now. And the first question is name, click on three dot, turn on the required option. And we don't need this, so let's delete this and click on pass. Here is your email section. Here is nothing to do. Let's just turn the required option. Then same thing, click on plus. Here we are going to choose the multiple choice. So what service do you want? And we are going to create some options. So first option, graphic design. And second option, web development. Third option, maybe marketing. Or you can add as many options as you want. So then again, I'm going to click on plus. And then click on text. And it's going to be a long answer. So turn it on. And the text is masses, sorry, masses. So here is our form and all we are going to do is double click on it and copy link to view. So back to our portfolio, let's scroll down. All we are going to do is paste the link we copy from the contact form and we are going to embed it. So here is our contact form and to create the button, let's click on slash, write button. Button name is contact us and we are going to choose an icon. So I think this one looks Great. and then we have to create some action click on new action and here open paste from urls so we are going to choose the paste is say hello and center pick everything is fine click on done so from now on once you click on the contact us so that's it that's our portfolio template i think now you can build on your own again thank you thank you for watching this video still if you didn't hit the subscribe button subscribe see you in the next video bye bye